than McClay before. Nico thinks the safer bet may be a horse on loan to them, a proven McClay winner named 007. This is 007 back to the barn for our bonding time. So I don't really know him. Why is he leaning in like that? Because I'm scratching him while he likes it. I like 007 because he is experienced, he knows what he's doing, and for the most part, he isn't scared of any of the jumps or intimidated by any. He's very friendly and he's all around the nice horse. It's a tough call. What's best for the family business and what's best for Nico's fight for the biggest prize of the year? For Beacon Hill, it's the moment everyone's been training for. The road to the McClay starts today. My goal is going to be to have all of them get back. That's, that's what we're coming here this weekend to do. 55 riders will compete here in Long Island in the Zone 2 Regional Qualifier. But only 22 of them will make it through to the McClay Finals. If I could make it to McClay and get a ribbon at the McClay, I'd be so happy. Like, smiling all the time and like, Jumping around. For some, this will be the first step toward a national championship. For others, the dream will end this weekend. So everyone's working on feeling lucky. Three, five, six. First time at regionals. Lucky. First time here. Why is that lucky? Um, because she wants it to be. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I don't, want, I don't want to overuse my lucky stuff. What if I use it like and then they become unlucky? In a sport where the smallest misstep is the difference between glory and defeat, even top riders like Brian take nothing for granted. I'm really like, she's weird. Compulsive about a lot of things, like my boots, for example. I'm very, very superstitious. When I was like eight, I had a pair of lucky And she's still wearing it. <laughs> The same pair. Well, when Brianne was a little girl, she had a fixation about she would only do well if she wore her lucky underwear. She only had one pair of underpants that was lucky. They were always washed, but... Finally, I said, why are you... Why are these your lucky underwear? Because you're not really getting anything. I think my little sister has some, some reasons. Day one of the competition is a warm-up day. The riders will compete in front of judges but it won't count toward the McClay qualifier. And maybe make one little circle here. To complete a course, riders must take every jump in a set pattern. Before every round, they get a chance to walk the course and make their plan for how to ride it. A ring like this being indoors, it's much smaller than riding in a lot of the outdoor rings. Indoor rings are less forgiving. Tighter turns mean less room for error. And equitation is all about perfection. We're judging the overall round evenness, rider's position, effortless on the horse. The good riders are going to do it smooth and make it look easy. Oh, that's the key. Make it look easy. As the warm-up round gets underway, it's also Frank's last chance to size up the competition. When I see a top rider, one that I know is a contender, either win the regionals or place in the regionals or even go on and maybe win the McClay finals, I'll take a peek in the ring and, and watch and see how the horses are going and, and maybe what they're doing with the course. Now it's Beacon Hill's turn to prove it's a force to beat come tomorrow. Despite her nerves, Chelsea and Anatello have a smooth round. Maria and Amigo put in what may be one of the best rides of the day. But superstars Brian and Logan are still the team to beat, even after last week's eye injury scare. So on the day of um, the regionals warm up, um, I went into the ring and I knew it wasn't gonna be my day. They start strong over the first jump and then take a nice wide turn just like they'd practiced. And then, the unthinkable happens. They knock a rail. Oof. Oh, 
always ugly. Mm-hmm. I was pretty ugly. If that happens again tomorrow, Brian's dream of being the first person to ever win all four championship finals could be over. I think that if I try to walk, I fall. It was my mistake only, not his at all. So if you think about it, what can you really blame on a horse? With 24 hours to go before the big competition, Frank's top student has unexpectedly lost her edge. I think she's almost a little bit too relaxed and a couple things have caught up to her. I mean, I do feel the pressure a little bit, but I try and, I wouldn't say blank it out, but I'm sometimes too calm to a fault. I'm a little nervous because it wasn't very good. You never know what happens. If I try to walk. Will Brian and Logan be able to pull it together in time? Up next, for Beacon Hill, the road to the McClay begins or ends tomorrow. This day is awful. I hate it. Oh my God. Did you, oh. Nico faces a choice that will make him or break him. I think at this point, the wall is the best. And Lindsay has one last chance to prove she belongs among the best of the best. Woo!